We might have wheeled some wild trucks on the other side of the world, but I can tell you for free that when it comes to diff banging, panel scraping oh, fun, very much second hand now, we can't look past our own backyard. Straight nuts! It wouldn't be the glass house mountains if you didn't have a bit of drama and a few breakages to go yes, with it. Yes, yes, yes! I don't need to seek counselling after doing these trips with you. <laughs> oh, crazy! This is one of the sketchiest things I've ever seen. It doesn't feel great. I just need to not roll it. Is the key here. Oh, oh. oh no! I don't think this is supposed to be on the track. It's meant to be on the car, isn't it, Sean? Hey, Jesse, you got a copy, mate? Yeah, got a copy, Sean, eh? I'm going to be honest, mate, pretty excited to be back on the local tracks, mate. I've been overseas, wheeled some pretty wild stuff. It's good to be back in my own backyard, mate. And um, as I understand it, there's going to be a couple of uh, tough tracks this weekend and also some new ones which I've never been to before. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty cool. That even if you've been in America, you're still keen to get back to the local tracks. And yeah, I've got a few things to show you later on the weekend. I reckon it should be a good little trip. Oh, I can't wait, mate, especially we've got a couple of glasshouse virgins amongst us, mate. These glasshouse tracks are where Jesse and I cut our teeth for while driving. It's the perfect place to test your skills, push your forbies, and of course push the limits of four-wheel driving. Coming in third in the convoy and joining Jesse in the IFS game is Steve in the Red Ark Hilux, carrying more 12-volt power than we know what to do with. Next up is our good mate Tony from GME. Wheeling the mighty GQ Ute, he's built for tough stuff just like this. This is Tony's first time in the glassy, and I reckon he's in for a good time. Fifth is Liam in the Wide Steady 200, which should prove pretty interesting on these tight and technical glasshouse tracks. And rounding us out is a new member of the crew, Justin from Full Wheel Drive Detail. Justin's bought his weapon of a defender, which he's built up and just finished in time for the trip. He hasn't done much of the hard stuff, but he's really keen to give it a red hot go. Glass House Mountains, you forget how good you've got it sometimes locally. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was driving the mountains of Colorado and then Moab all across the US, and the scenery was out of this world, no doubt about it. But in terms of like tough challenges, I reckon the glassy's got to have it all. It'd be good to see how these sort of compare to some of those harder tracks overseas. I've always found that the driving in Australia has been a lot more committing. You get a bit more red clay, less traction on the rocks, and therefore you have to drive it just that little bit harder. If you've been here before, you'll know that the tracks aren't too far from anywhere. And first up is a track that's going to test the absolute limits of the whole crew. Here we go, Jesse, the start of Palm Tree, mate. Yeah, straight into it. The road's only just up there. I know. And, uh, it's, a, um, it's, it's changed a lot since last time I was here. Last definitely. time I was here, I think I was spotted up through here and I sort of fell in with Sooty. And the problem is when you've got a wagon, you, you're trying to straddle big ruts. If you do fall in, yeah. usually Consequences. Means, exactly, consequences. Yeah, that's a nice way yeah. to say that. Day. Lockers are engaged. It is time to drive one of the biggest, scariest looking ruts you'll ever see. <laughs> ah, yes. There's no warm up glassy. It's straight into it. Here we go. It actually feels good in the vehicle until it falls in. I'm just watching Jesse. That way a little bit. Listen to your spotter. Listen to your spotter. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, as soon as you stop spotting, there's a wheel in the air. There's a little bit of a wheel in yeah. there, but he is driving through it. You are. Right. You're nearly at the bottom. If you want to make it easy, you can just steer it hard left hand down, it'll come down. But you're all right. Yeah, it's all Jesse, this one. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good, that's what he yeah, says. Yeah, it's going to go down, it's going to go down, one way or the other. It'll go down, I'm sure about <laughs> that. No, you're all right, you're all right. This is just learning the angles. You've got new suspension heights and stuff. It's coming down now. You can steer this way a little yeah. bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Nice oh, drive. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And down we go. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon that wheel had about two metres of air under it. Oh, it felt like it. Good commander, like though. It. it was just. It was the it. funny thing, it was coming down for about an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it was... That was an awesome drive. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering why Sooty's working so well on these tracks, it's got nothing to do with the driver. You see, what I've done is a couple of basic mods to make Sooty perform a little bit better. One of the main things that I've done is I've lowered Sooty one inch 
and I've stiffened it right up with heavier sway bars. Now that combination still allows the vehicle to flex, but more importantly, it's a lot more stable on off-cambered tracks. There you go, what a way to open the account in the glass house, eh? Wheel lifts for days. I reckon uh, another four and a half millimetres and some would say that's a lot. I would have been on my lid. With only a rear locker and smaller tyres, Jesse's opted for the B-Line. Although I reckon it comes with its own set of challenges. <laughs> yep, as a professional bog hole inspector, um, I reckon you'll be right, Jesse. No dramas. <laughs> <laughs> No, good drive, mate. <laughs> there we go. That's it. A little bit of left, right. Good night. I'm trying to like straddle it, but I think I'm just going to end up on the side of it. Give it some, give it some berries. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to come up here, mate. You gotta, up here. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> I've definitely seen you do better drives than that, Jesse. <laughs> What's going on, mate? Nothing to see here, mate. I'm uh, just, just waiting for a mate. <laughs> good old-fashioned stitch-up right here. Sean is supposed to be the official bog hole inspector, and he said this one's all good, but um, <laughs> turns out it's not. What do you reckon? We pull you out backwards, yeah, we I, pretend this never happened. We pretend it never happened, yeah. And, then, and uh, I'll just have a second go. Yeah, I reckon you can come up here. All right, take two. That's it. Oh. That's me. That's you. Fair enough as well. I mean, these ruts are massive. The whole front of the vehicle is not even up and out of that rut. And then he's got this huge, big, steep one to get out of. So we'll just grab the winch. Little tires and big glass house ruts means a winch up this steep little pinch and I should be on my way. Just takes me back to my winch challenge days. It feels really that steep. That's him, that's him. Drive it, it's that easy. Well done, well done. Well, I made a nice mud soup down here now, so good luck to the Red Ark truck, I say. Yeah, thanks, man. Can't wait. Steve's essentially hitting the same problems as the D-Max, so he's got it to a good place and thrown the winch on, and up he goes. Tony is not one to shy away from a challenge, and the GME GQ is built specifically for this sort of stuff, so he's straight into it. This yeah. way, this way, this way, you That's animal. Me a little bit, a little bit to me. Oh, oh my God! No, no, no! <laughs> That's quite animal. a predicament. You're an if, animal. If you can just go back a fraction, and um, we'll, we'll have a, another look at that. Tony's all sorts of twisted up here, but the GQ can handle it. And soon enough, he's lined up for round two. And then to me. Yeah. To me, to me. <laughs> wait, to wait, me, back to, to Sean, me. wait, back to Sean. No, you need to come, you need to get this tie up on here. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's it. That's it. Just go slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. This way, this way. Yeah, to, to, to <laughs> Just hang it on. Second time, and Tony's picked a much better line through the middle of the rut, and the old GQ flexes its way through with ease. Good drive, mate. Real lift. <laughs> Look at that. Loves it. There's a bit going on in there. Liam's up next in the big 200. Now, the good thing about the 200 is it's nice and wide, so it makes straddling quite easy. Plus, it's an auto, so I'll be able to go nice and slow and control up here. All right, mate, come on when you're ready. Thanks, mate. Make sure you, uh, you spot me nice and flat. Yeah, we'll do our best, mate. We'll put him in that big hole. Biggest yeah. wheel lift you'll ever see. Check this out. <laughs> Liam's picked the perfect line, and the width of the 200 is actually helping him to stay hard against each side of the rut. Watching Jesse now. I've got my eyes glued to you. Lovely to watch, he's gonna roll that over. A little bit. There you go, there you go. Beautiful. That nice auto is making nice life slide. so much easier, eh? That's just slider, that's all good. <laughs> oh, this is your damn it, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna oh, go no. up. <laughs> oh, it's picking up. <laughs> Oh. Slow. Slow. That's slow. That's it. A little Whoa. bit of right. Oh, there man. Little <laughs> oh, I bet it feels good in the big 200, eh, Liam? That'll go, yeah, that'll go. Whoa. Crazy. Keep going slow, and it'll come down in about two seconds. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there, there you go. Wow. Oh, it's going back up a again. bit of left, bit of left, mate. A bit of left. Oh, I can't. Yeah, oh, that feels good. amazing coming down. Very good. <laughs> That's commitment. <laughs> wow. Just is up next in the big Defender. Now, I think the vehicle will go quite well. 
It's such a cool looking thing. That's it. That's Where it. are you going? There That's nice. Mate. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Straighten her up, straighten her up, straighten her up. Oh, oh. crawl it, don't stall it. He's but, just yeah. posing for a photo, is what he's yeah. doing. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. That's it. Beautiful line, mate. Really nice. nice. So keep it nice and high up here. Yeah. A little bit too much. A little bit too much. Straighten her up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the right spot now. You're in the right spot. The Defender is long as well as a manual, so it's quite a task getting it up here without too much tough wheeling experience. What a way to break it in. Beautiful. <laughs> Way! Well done. Well done. That's a that's a big drive. Thank isn't it? you. It's a nice way to get the cobwebs out when you get a glass house. You're yeah. straight into it. There's no like mediocre tracks. There's no warm up. No. It's just straight into the deep end. Um, did really well. I'm proud of it. That's the no. first time I've actually driven this harder. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, if you thought that was hard, this is the start of the track. You wait till we see you in my next. <laughs> Palm tree track doesn't let up, and after you get out of the clay ruts, you advance up to the rock steps. Unlike clay, if you slip into these ones, panel damage is definitely on the cards. Well, this is probably the most famous part of this track. It uh, looks very, very uh, confronting, which it is. You've got to straddle it just right, and you've got to turn a lot. You don't want the rear to fall in, or you're going to be in all sorts of trouble. When you're driving ruts, you don't want your rear to fall in. I think that's where 90% of the damage happens, yeah, when definitely. your rear falls in. Yeah. And it's usually, you're concentrating so much on your front, you're not thinking about the rear. Yeah. And that's, a, that's a good little tip, mate. Well, speaking of that, hopefully I can remember, mate. I'm up first. <laughs> good luck. Fingers crossed. Still. No, he still wants me to go that, that way. Hard, hard left, hard left. Hard left. Yep. Keep coming, keep coming. St keep going. Keep yeah. coming. It doesn't feel great. I admire Jesse's confidence and I really do trust him 100%. But right now, all I can see is blue sky. So, keep it coming isn't exactly that easy. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. I don't think that's a thing, Jesse. Keep coming. Oh, it's hard on that slider, isn't it? I mean, this, if we get you past that slider, you'll be right. It's just caught on the rock. We'll try to push you as you go. It's only got to go that way. Really? Yeah, it's going to get better. It's like one inch. Just spin your wheels again like that. That was perfect what you were doing, and we'll just try to rock it. And steer this way a bit, steer, steer right. Yep, steer more right, more right. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I've seen a lot of beautiful things in my life. There's not one of them. That's not the line I was thinking, Jesse. Get a right hand down. Yeah, it's not hitting too hard. If you go right hand down and back, keep coming, keep coming. And go if you can go more right hand down, we might just try to put you in the hole and see what happens. Can't be worse than this. A little bit more. Yeah, stop there, stop. Now you might have to go back and go fully in the hole, but I don't know, I don't know what's that, what that's going to do if you go fully in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I normally have a wheel up there. Oh, sugar. As you go forward, it's going to drop in pretty hard. It's okay. going to drop in pretty hard. <laughs> I've got things going everywhere all over the dash. I wasn't expecting leans like that. But I'd follow that mirror in just in case, because it you might slip in quite extravagantly. Yeah. Yeah. Now a bit of right now. Start steering right. Beautiful. That's yep. better. More right. Yeah, that's good. Keep going to that. Keep going. 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 It's going to come down. It's going to come down. Yeah, keep going. Beautiful, yeah. Real gentle, real gentle. Mm. Yeah. Loving it. Real gentle. Nah, that's on the bar. We might have to. Um, mm. I'll see if we could back back. Yeah, it stopped there. Wouldn't go much more. It's about to teeter. And then when you come forward, go hard right. If that climbs, you'd be laughing. Yep, that's good because it's going to sort of cantilever itself. That's good. Just keep steering hard right. Hard right, hard right. Beautiful, keep keep going right. Feels wrong, but you gotta do it. Now start steering left. See left now. Hard left, hard left. Yeah, all the left you got. You're pretty much up now. Got a lot better keep that time around. Keep going left. Not done keep yet, going left. It's gonna go down a bit, but it's, it's all good. Just you don't wanna stop too much because that side isn't held on by much. Yeah. Steer right. this way now. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
Gee. It was all feeling pretty good until the rear slipped in, and like I said, these rocks will do some serious damage to your vehicle if you're not careful. That's all right. Just sounds like panels, boys. That's a flare. That's all right. We've got more of those. That's right. That's why you never put fresh flares on. The whole the, the bank gave away. There's like it oh, slipped in. Yeah. I'm all for having a red hot go, but like most people, I don't want to ruin the entire side of my vehicle. So with a quick winch, it sort of will be up the first section anyway, and then I can get cracking on the next. Look at that one. Yeah, that one's second hand, very much second hand now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh. No. It's slip. oh! I'd keep steering this way if you can. Just keep that flare off. It's gonna do a pretty big wheelie now, I reckon, though. Oh, no, that's all right. Rear bar's holding it. Bit of left? Yeah, a little bit left. The wheelie's gonna be big, though. Yeah, I know. You it's might good. have to back back and try to get this wheel. It was so close! I know. I'm gonna be honest with you. It looked a lot easier when the car wasn't on <laughs> <Yeah>. the track. <laughs> Nah, nah. Um, That's a horrible noise. Yeah. Well, what's happening here is just because of the weight in the back of Sooty, the cars actually will drive it, but it's just leaning over so much the panels are touching. It's not sort of lightweight thing like Daryl or the Pony. So we're only sort of winching, not because he's stuck, just to keep the panels off the bank, really. It really is humbling to be back in the glass house. And I reckon getting back up to speed was just how wild some of our tracks can be. Happy days. Just a little bit of clutch and... Uh... <laughs> Something else that's not that good. <laughs> Sean's doing a rock wall at home near his shed. And he needed <laughs> one more piece. One more so piece. he broke it out with his rear diff. We're going to pick it up and put it in the back of Sooty. Look at that. That's that's pretty amazing. There's that bit of the track that sort of fell apart. And um, a little bit down there too. Bit of the bank that came away. It just goes to show that's why these tracks change all the time. It um, probably made it easier. Yeah, anything. if you put that in that hole, that'll make it a lot easier. Up. Well, fair enough too, Jesse's going to take the bypass here, but he still has to drive this bit, which is quite a challenge. He's got it, got it. Just the muddy, just the mud flat. There's the other. Good navvies out there, good navvies. Well, sorry mate, we're only navvy people going forwards. <laughs> Jesse squared up now and has picked the line out. A really good effort for a two-row with a canopy. Like a gunshot. Well driven, Jesse. Well done. Steve's up next, and I reckon he's going to take a similar approach. Yeah, steer over now. Beautiful. Good job. That way, that way a little bit. Yep. Nice. Now back over this way. Over this way. He's going up speed. Back that way. Straighten up. Straighten. Straighten up. Straighten up. <laughs> That's a little bit loose yeah, and sideways. Maybe you spot people on their side if you haven't worked it out, mate. Heaps <laughs> more left. More left. Yeah, right, eh? That's it. More left, more left. More left. Steve's pretty new to the tough wheeling scene, but the boys have spotted him up well. Lovely. Tony's up next, and something tells me he's not opting for the chicken trap. You're like off course, but it's working. Back this oh, way yeah. now. Very impressive. What the hell is that? In the so right, to, to your left, 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 left. Yeah. That was just fully off the I track know, there. I know. And then back to the right. You just, you just go wherever you want, really. Oh! And then right, 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 up. <laughs> steer right, steer right, right, right. Oh. He didn't run over anything. Hell, oh hell. my god. How did that work? <laughs> that was yeah. loose. I'm sorry, Patrol. I'm sorry for what I do to you. He's going to have to lose some points for leaving stuff on the track. But <laughs> That's four points of a commitment, right. though. And that was commitment. I don't know how that bottom bit worked. I don't know how the car didn't slip in. If, if I did that in my vehicle, I'll tell you what, I, I'd, I'd be, I'd be all the way yeah, Mate, great drive. Now, I just want to give these back to you. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm really proud of, though? It well, didn't come off. You know, every time I seem to go drive with you, Tony, you know, you do some fantastic committing lines, but you like to leave all your gear on the track. Yeah, look, I think I'm going to need some uh, different handles on those toolboxes, or maybe just lock them before I drive those kind how'd, of tracks. How'd you go? No damage? Mate, just a little mark on the back here, but took it like a champ, eh? Yeah, Jesse was saying it wasn't quite the line, but it's just so capable that you were offline and it still climbed its way forward, fell into the rut. Mate, I'm a passenger you... in this thing, eh? I just, you know, just point it up the hill and hope for the best is kind of my strategy. <laughs>
All right, so this track does not look friendly for wagons. So fingers crossed, the wide wheel track of the 200 will, uh, will walk its way up without any damage. That's it, nose lifting up. Liam's pretty brave to take the 200 up this challenge, but the 200 is twin locked, auto and on 35s. So let's see how he goes. Oh, that's not great. I just keep steering um, left and see if you can drive, see if the back will climb up. Yeah. Oh. Better right, no, you're right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, good, good. No. Nah, it's just, just slipped in. But the 200 just has too much weight and with it being so wide, the best option is to chuck the winch on and protect those panels. One of the things we don't talk about a lot about getting a winch is it can actually save you thousands of bucks in panel damage. You see, what we're doing right here is the same thing I did with Sooty. He's actually using the winch to hold the vehicle. He's not stuck, but it's gonna keep those panels off the wall. So literally, he's gonna pay for that winch in this one little use of it right here. because He's not gonna do any panel damage and get up nice and safe. A bit of cheap insurance if you ask me. Liam's keen to give this next bit of crack, but the 200 just keeps slipping into those ruts. Yeah, back this way, back this way. Oh, it slipped in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, when the front wheel grabs, it's sort of like roll onto it then. Yeah, okay. So if you go back hard, right hand down again. Yeah, stop there and then you steer this way again. Oh. Yeah, go, go, yeah. Oh no! Ah! Bugger! I don't even reckon that was the worst one because the wheels didn't even spin. Yeah, they're on quite the angle, aren't they? Sounds like I've done a CV. The big down has come down quite hard and something's gone bang. I think it might be a front CV because they're on quite a big angle. So uh, we'll grab the winch out, get them up on the flat and do a further assessment. I reckon it's a rear axle, I swear I've seen the rear stop. Oh, I stopped there. Oh, 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 come and have a look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no way. It's not the yolks out of it. Because I'm like, the front, I seen the front spinning and the back wasn't. Jeez, everyone did a, a mud flap delete. Tail shaft deletes where it's at, mate. Well, I don't think this is supposed to be on the track. It's meant to be on the car, isn't it, Sean? Absolutely amazing. Like, look at, look what's happened here. Yeah. The actual flanges have let go as well as that the That one's uni. just elongated. Look just, at it. It just, that's. That's too out of talk for you, mate. It must be, yeah. Unfortunate though, because it's not the place you want to show off your too out of talk. Cause <laughs> Definitely not. Halfway up a hill. And I guess the only saving grace is it's a 200, they're very common vehicles, and mm. number two in the glass house. So we're not too yeah. far from civilization. Keep but, winching, I reckon. A bit of winching, winching up, up this hill. There's a fair bit to go yet, yeah. so fingers crossed we can get him out one piece. While Liam slowly makes his way up the rest of the hill on the winch, the last vehicle up is the long defender. This should prove to be quite a challenge for Justin. Sometimes a long wheelbase will work in your favour, but unfortunately, not this time. You can't park there. <laughs> well, we have a Land Rover limousine here, and he doesn't have a front locker, so the back wheels are spinning then. One of the front wheels stopped, so it sort of slipped in. And Justin's seen the damage the 200 has done, and rightly so, he's chucked the winch on. Heaps of winch, heaps of winch, heaps of winch! You might just have to ride the clutch to the front's up type thing. And luckily he did because that could have ended really badly. Sooty's got some competition this trip. <laughs> Usually Sooty is the most obnoxious vehicle on the tracks, but yeah. not today. Between that and the 200, you're going to have to hand in Sooty's number plates. I reckon Sooty's... Sooty! It's in Sooty. So excited, I can't talk. <laughs> I reckon Sooty's more like a Prius. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's a, like a Tesla. Mm. Yeah. He's got the radio playing with the temperatures and noise. Exactly right. We might be out of the tougher section of palm tree, but with the 200 in front wheel drive only, it's still gonna be a fair old slog to the end. And with the afternoon getting away from us, we still need to get Liam to the top and see if we can't find a tail shaft to get him up and running. As you can see, there's a lot of load on this 200. Only in front wheel drive at the moment, so as you can see, it's pretty flat ground here, but he's struggling so much. We thought about sort of trying to tow him up here, but I think it'll be too hard on the, the vehicle that's towing, so it's going to winch. It's going to be really slow. We're we'll getting up here. We'll hopefully make it out by dark. It's going to be rinse and repeat, unfortunately. With the top of the track in eyesight, we give it one last hurrah in front wheel drive. But when it rains, sometimes it pours. Oh, there. 
there it goes. Hey! Oh no! Worse fears than a CV. <laughs> I could have scooped it down at the bottom. Go again. It could be that shaft again. Not the the diff shaft, the intermediate it shaft. It could be because the CV cup's not spinning oh. unless the unless the stub's broken off the shaft. But if not, it might be that intermediate shaft. Unbelievable! I thought that this is a flat road. I thought that would have driven. I thought with a bit of running momentum, and I, I did make the call on that to try and save a little bit of time. As not where it goes back to in a big way. Right, five sides. He's a great thing. <laughs> I wish I didn't pipe up then. <laughs> Everyone was doing quite well, so I get involved. Well, we're near the top. Liam's winch is getting very sad and hot. So, we're going to back Tony down. Hopefully, the GQ is heavy enough to pull him up, but see how we go, eh? Lovely, lovely. Good job, Tony. It really is as easy as that. You got a problem with the toy, you don't have to fix it, you don't have to know that stuff, don't get any parts. Just hook a Nissan straight on and straight up the hill. Easy as that. We should probably done that hours ago, I reckon. This has to be one of the coolest convoys I've had in a while. I want to know though, which one of these rigs would you want the keys to and why? Old Soot, the Mighty D Max, the Red Arc Hilux with all the 12 volt gear you'd ever need, the Big 200, or the Monster Defender? Tell us in the comments below. With the last of the vehicles up, the day is nearly gone and we need to start making a plan for the evening. With camp not too far down the road, we managed to arrive in true glasshouse fashion at night. With the swags rolled out and beers in hand, Liam and Jesse get straight to work on seeing if they can pull the shaft out while I try and sort a few parts out. Just as we suspected, intermediate shaft goes bang. Liam Mike's doing this, he did okay, <laughs> the exact same thing. Ah, uh, second time lucky. These are strong CVs. One of the things that's so good about Wheelie not far out of town is you're only a phone call away from help. We've managed to get hold of some local wreckers and they've got all the parts we need to fix this 200. Well, how good's this? Thank you so much. This is, turns out this is half of our problem solved. These boys down at Rockley Auto Parts, they've got one of the biggest wreckers in at least South East Queensland, if not, not one of the biggest four-wheel drive wreckers I've seen. They've actually got a 200 series in stock at the moment. So if that's okay, we might grab that in the shaft tomorrow morning. We'll chuck this in, get the 200 back on the road. But I reckon with the parts out, it'll be easier in the light to get those new parts in. So for now, beers and a bit of canvas sounds absolutely perfect. Right, guys, it's competition time. Now, how good is the setup on Big Sooty here? We've got the Bushwhacker Extreme Darkness awning and also their inflatable swag, both of which could be yours if you comment below and let us know where you'd take your epic setup if you had both of these things. Now, keep in mind the total prize package is worth over $2,300 and it could be yours. Just let us know where you take your epic setup if you had the awning and the swag. Good luck. The morning tells a tale of what was our first day in the glass house. Vehicles in pieces, mud lines above canopies, and some new love marks on the rigs. That really does mean that yesterday was a success. Although, of course, there were a few mishaps. Steve's got a couple of toasties on the go, which will give us enough energy to get the 200 back up and running. I've got the side of the diff off that holds the intermediate shaft but it's broken right at the end of the spline. So that part there bolts to the diff center. So it is stuck all the way in there. Have to undo the complete other side, CV out and get a long uh, bar through or screwdriver through and knock that broken bit out. There we go. There's the other piece. If you have a close look, there's a big twist in that spline. So a lot of torque went through that. The good news is that the boys who dropped off the tail shaft have sorted an intermediate shaft as well, and the legends have even got it sent up to our campsite just in time for us to have a coffee and jump back on the tools. <laughs> that, that looks like something else, mate. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> okay, it's a long way. Five stars for you people. Back at you, mate. Four stars. Back at you. <laughs> 
If you've seen our Cape York adventure from earlier this year, you know that this is the exact same breakage that happened on the 200 there. So for Liam, this repair is pretty straightforward. Out with the old and in with the new. Wheels going back on, it's all back together. Hopefully we can get back on the tracks and uh, fingers crossed, it'll stay together this time. Well, it wouldn't be the Glasshouse Mountains if you didn't have a bit of drama and a few breakages to go with it, but the cool news is it is about lunchtime and we're back on the track. So all said and done, it's pretty successful if you ask me to get these rigs back on the track. Speaking of which, Liam, how's the big 200 drive mate? Pretty good? Like a new one. Look, I'll tell you what, I was a bit deflated once I broke the uh, the tail shaft and then the front uh, intermediate shaft, but back on the tracks now, all fixed up, looking forward to it. Well, something tells me, mate, that might be quite handy when you see the truck we've got in store for us for the Savo, mate. It's a nice little one, but it's um, certainly got its challenges. I'll lead on and uh, hopefully we'll be in the thick of it pretty soon. With a fair bit of morning taken up with the repairs, we've pointed our nose towards another glass house icon, ball bearing track. It's a short, sharp climb that is a pretty wild steep section in the middle that, if miscalculated, can cause all sorts of dramas. Bit of a step here, mate, and the bad news for you is the solid axle line is here. You've got to imagine a barrier, you've got to drive that side. <laughs> There's rules, is there? Yeah, yeah. IFS can go over here, so I'm sweet, but yes, yeah, you've got to drive over there. It's funny because, like, in America, you drive stuff like this unlocked because it'd be so much grip, but yeah, over here, yeah. it's just a different game. Right, this down for excuse book yeah. already. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> You're talking tough when he's in the D Max. Yeah. I reckon, uh, look, this is, this is probably the hardest bit of this track, it I reckon. Is, yeah. You get yeah. this wrong, and you can be in all sorts of drama. Right, oh. Step didn't look too bad when I was standing next to it, but I guarantee when you get the front tyres up to it, you're going to be going, oh, that's real steep. Yeah, that's tail shaft territory, that one. That's why, whoa, there's the dust. Whoa. That's why the stag is good. Yeah, I'll get that now. Yeah, I might uh, look at the A-line over you're here. You're still going to have one more go there. Normally we stick the left hand wheel on that side of that little stub there. Yeah, beautiful, and then aim at me, aim at me. <laughs> that throws you. It does throw you a bit. It, just, it didn't even try and climb though. No. Well, the good news is that the boom goes over there, you made your two goes. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, it's just resting on the awning. Yeah, it's all good now. I, and steer up the hill, I reckon. And now you're in a better spot to shuffle over this yeah, way more. Yeah, come if you over want. a bit now. Yeah, and once the back line's hard lock right type thing. Yeah, right now. Good that just finding the perfect line. Oh, he's gone the high line. Beautiful. I've genied him up for the bonus. Up to the right at the top. Oh, yes! Wow. This is a challenging climb for a tourer on small tyres, but if anyone can handle it, Jesse's the man for the job. Yeah, up here, Jesse, you gotta get a tyre up on this rock, mate. And when you're up here and you're vertical, just steer to the right and then use your cutting brace to get your front around. What you ideally want that tyre on this tree. You ideally want that. And you you're just, just being silly, mate. There's... <laughs> I get it. It's, it's, it's just, it's committing. Are you going to come up here? No chance. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is a tricky little section, especially without a front locker. Yeah, yeah, you got it. That's you. That's it. Yep, I got it. Oh, I don't like the bouncing. I don't like the bouncing. Yes. Oh, oh. That's you, you had it. The bouncing scared me. Yeah, oh. I get it. It was the whole front was shaking. Very close. How can you stall the auto? I didn't even know that was a thing. The Z-Max has had enough. It's actually a real good feature. We need this for Liam's car. When you're about to break something, the car just stops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bit more pace, mate. Yeah, what happened when you said that yesterday? 
You can't be wrong twice in a row. You might have to do it in two goes to try and get your bum over. That's it, that's it. Yep, that's a line, mate, definitely. Yep. Yes. 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 D-Max up. Well, Jesse, you've steered the D-Max bloody well up there. Something tells me Steve's going to try a very similar approach. Yep. Give it a little drive now. Beautiful, yes! Woo! Good work, Steve. Oh, left, left, go left, left. Yes. That's all right, that's all right. You got to just back it down a little bit with a little bit of left hand down. You got this. I'm kind of surprised with that, to be honest. <laughs> That was well spotted, Jesse. He got up there and it was great commitment because he was a little bit hesitant to drive that. Yeah. He's done really good. You can keep in mind that Steve is a tourer. He's got, mm. you know, 400 batteries in there. He's got yeah. one of the best 12 volt setups he's I've ever seen. Got an air fryer in there. I know, I know. The guy's got yeah. potato gems probably on the boil yeah, I right think he now. Does, yeah. And um, he's just driven this really tough track and he's so just stoked, I reckon. Mm. And he's, he'll make this look easy too, yeah. I reckon. With a big step behind him, all that's left is the off cambered rock face. Oh, that might have been the tail light. Hey! Oh, far out. That was insane. I can't believe I made it up there. Oh, like I said, having the spotting is just a big, big help. Just that little tail light hit a rock right at the start of it. Under a minute, and I've cleaned up my mate's broken parts out of the bush. Don't be a grub, pick up your broken stuff. First gear, first gear. First? On the clutch. Perfect. Nice and slow, yep. That's good. Keep coming. Keep it coming, beautiful, keep steering up. Yep, keep steering up, up this way, up this way. Go that, go that. No, stop, 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 you slipped in. That's pretty good for first attempt. See the, you see the Nissan Patrol love. This bloke is busting, busting a packet so he drives it nice and neat. He's just, there's so much love and admiration for a fellow Nissan driver. <laughs> he busted his butt. <laughs> well. Quite the angle. Rev it and dump it. Wants it. Yep, hard left, hard left. Beautiful. Come on, get up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this car is a monster. It really is amazing to watch. And the, and the whole thing is, he drove that and never felt sketchy. It just stayed really low to the ground and just. Up it went. Jesse, you, your peer pressure is out of control. I don't need to seek counselling after doing these trips with you, mate. <laughs> I bet you're glad you did it. That was that was fun, but oh, felt rude, eh? I like having you because I'm like, you need to do this, and you're just like, vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, well, you, as I'm walking down the hill, you're like, you have to do it. I'm like, well, of course I have to do it now. <laughs> Liam's up a newly repaired 200, and I reckon he's not too keen on breaking it again. So he's taking it nice and steady. Steer this way a little bit. Yeah, keep steering this way just to get you back out of the hole. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Now steer that way and you should be able to drive up. Yep, hard that way, hard that way, hard that way, hard that way. Now back over this way. Oh, look at that, very nice, very nice. Let me tell you, I was so nervous about driving that hill, but she walked straight up. Now we've seen Justin wheel his defender very well so far, and the long wheelbase might actually work in his favour for this one. Fingers crossed, we can keep those panels nice and straight. Stop there, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, Justin! He's up, he's up! <laughs> I missed the break. <laughs> Righty, I steer that way a little bit and come forward. Yep. Beautiful, mate. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Left, left, left. Yeah! <laughs> I'll have to watch that on the replay because I was too busy yeah. running. Like, <laughs> coming up in a, in a rate of knots. Good drive. That's it. That's it. That's it. What an absolute weapon. That Defender looks bloody cool and is also super capable, even with only a rear locker. Well done, Justin. It's an animal. Very cool. Wow. Very cool. Soot. Sounds good. Very long. Did it too easy. I like cool it. Car. I like it. Well, that wraps up just about two days of some really good, honest fun. And I reckon it's time we make tracks and try and find a camp because I've got something epic to cook up for the boys tonight.
I've got to say that we're pretty darn lucky to have such good wheeling, camping and scenery only a few hours out of Brizzy. And it goes to show you really don't have to go too far to have a good time. Well, boys, I reckon a big cheers is in order. Cheers, boys. We have done. Cheers, mate. This is what South East Queensland's all about, if you ask me. Good mates, tough tracks, and you're not even far from home. We got a part delivered in an Uber this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I've said this a million times before, but if there was one way to make the night just a fraction better, just a tiny bit better, Come on, are we cooking tonight? Oh, that right. was it. You said better, yeah. you sort of confused me. <laughs> you guys are yeah. thinking like, what yeah. else yeah. can we get to move up? No, yeah. no, 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 I'm gonna be cooking. I didn't hear you say worse, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be all time. I've got a really good one tonight, actually. I've got a really good, you're gonna love this one, Jesse. Well, I did uh, talk big game around the fire tonight. I do want to cook something very special, and I think I've got just the idea. Now, we're cooking some nachos up, and um, this is what inspired me to cook the nachos tonight. See, when I was in the supermarket, I've never seen this before, the taco spice mix, fiery hot. I've never seen fiery hot before, so I got all the fiery hot ones, and so we're going to do a quite a little ring burner nachos. That's what we're going to call it tonight. I'm going to jump in the Dometic, grab some mince out. Now, you can't do any tacos there, it means as far as long as you need a little bit of meat, a bit of protein in the middle. I'm here, mate. I've got the tools for the morning, <laughs> ready to go. Sit those closed, actually. Yeah, I'm not what, even joking this time around. Close. What are we enough. doing? We're doing nachos. Do you like nachos? Yeah, they're not bad, but what about hot, fiery nachos? Everyone thinks the glass house is all about tough tracks, and that's yeah. the hardest bit about yeah. it. Not true. This sometimes, is... sometimes the evening tracks that you'll do, like around the campfire. Are we going to call these TD tacos? <laughs> TD tacos. going to be super hot. Right, mate. So I'll just grab that mince, that's gonna go straight in. Now, if you thought this was fancy, mate, check this out. I'm very, wow. I'm very prepared. That's like a full kitchen. I know, it's basically the toolkit for when you're cooking. I'm just gonna break this down. The whole plan here is basically just to brown the mince off. And once the mince starts to brown, I'm gonna start putting some of this spicy taco mix in. Taco or taco? Ta taco, I reckon. Taco? Taco is what you got in the car on the dash, I reckon. <laughs> it smells spicy. Ooh, ooh. There's actually quite a lot in each one of these. Lucky there's a bit of wind tonight, we're not going to get all of it, that's good. <laughs> Leave no stone unturned, Jesse. Okay, yep, yeah, righty-o. Well, you probably could have just used one of them, I reckon. Well, I shouldn't rub my nose. There's <laughs> got, got a bit of go about it. Actually, that's quite a lot. It seems like excessive, to, to be honest with you. Now, in case it's not hot enough, <laughs> we do have some cayenne pepper. Now, cayenne pepper is not to be mucked around with. And in case you probably that, don't need that, I don't reckon. In case that's not hot enough, I got this one off Tony. I can take that back to Tony if you want. Do you want to take that the back to The world's him? hottest chilies, savage bastard hot sauce, deadly. There's warnings mm. on it. So look, I'll put that to the side. I'll put it definitely to the side, yeah. Now, while you do that, I'm gonna jump in the back of Sooty because we're actually gonna start getting the- The little trays out. Little trays, like barbecue yeah. trays. Yeah. These are fantastic. Now we're gonna need eight camera crew included. So move those around. I'll bring you some gotta put them under out. your car when you park in the driver, don't you? That's yeah. why you got them in there. <laughs> We're gonna defend it with us, mate. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> we need more than that. Are you just gonna go chips on the bottom, one layer of mints? Yeah, thing, exactly. Yeah? You gotta work this Some out. people go layered. There's, there's lots of different ways to do it. Let me just have a little taste of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> got a little bit. You <laughs> didn't go about it. <laughs> if he's doing that, it must be hot. <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> no, <laughs> that's just the back of stuff. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> it's got me. I'm try fine. that. Try no, it. No, no, no. Tony, we need you to taste this. I want it. If you want. <laughs> Come on. Tony's coming. No, I'm Come good. On, I'm good. Jesse, no. have a go. No, I can't. We're in this I together, can't. mate. It's I like, know we are. I'll, I'll spot you. You're the official taste tester. It's on your shirt. I'll spot you. It's not no. that. It's not that. Tony's coming in hot. Oh, try that. It's not that bad. Mm, there's a bit of pepper there. It's got a bit of spice. Jesse, you could eat that. It's not that bad, Jesse. Honestly, mate. It's like just driving up Big Red for the first time. It looks 
really daunting, don't get me wrong. And then when you get up to it and you actually start to put your four-wheel drive there, you go, hey, it's not that bad. That is just about done. It's sticking up real nice. It's sticking up really good. A lot of that moisture has gone now mm. and the flavors are phenomenal. Now this one here, mate, Chipotle sauce, this is the hottest they had. Just, Can't just, wait. Just a little bit on each one. I'm not gonna go crazy with this because this is pretty hot. Jalapenos, mate. You can't have nachos without jalapenos, if you ask me. Oh, I have before. <laughs> <laughs> a good serving of cheese on each one, Jesse. Now the next step is, of course, to get these over on the, the fire. Yeah. Exactly Looks like right. the boys have got it ready. They've got it ready, so grab, a couple, over. grab a couple of these. Yeah. Get these straight on the coals. And that cheese belts, we'll be on. Happy days. How good did they turn out? They've turned out really good. Now, it would have been better, of course, to get a bit more heat, mm. direct heat on top. That would have melted the cheese a bit better, but as you can see. It's pretty much melted. I'm gonna give you this one. Bit of guacamole, bit of sour Chuck. cream. Get this, mate. This is gonna be one of those ones for the ages, mate. Yeah, you pay big bucks and stuff in town. Look, I like how you just put it down. Have you been in jail before, Jesse? Oh, <laughs> like... I don't really wanna say it on camera. <laughs> You're slopping it down like the tuck shop, mate. Well, I got those tuck shop arms. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, bring a fork, grab yourself one of these, and it, look, if it's not hot enough, we have some sauce here, you can go a bit of extra sauce. What do you do if it's too hot? Well, same, mate. That's actually turned out really good. Actually turned out really good. Mm -hmm. That is one of the easier meals you'll ever make around the campfire. And I've got to say, if you're looking for something nice and easy, but tastes an absolute treat, get some ring burner nachos in you, mate. <laughs> you'll have an absolute a ripper of a time, and, and I'll tell you what, Tomorrow, let's discuss some toilet options and also we'll, we'll figure out what tracks we're going to do around the glass house. Yeah. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Let's right. do around the fire. Sounds yeah, like a plan. That is so good. your last chance to take advantage of our Black Friday sale. So I'm talking about up to 40% off Snatch clothing, Snatch recovery gear, up to 30% off some of the major brands that we use and trust, like GME, like Steady, we've got Runva, we've got Bendix, EVC, and so much more. Do yourself a favor. This is your last chance, guys. Jump on a full drive247.com right now. We've camped up in a nice little homestead with heaps of space, just half an hour from the tracks. It's the perfect place to base yourself if you're spending some time around the Glasshouse Mountains. Oh, that's gentle. He's looking at me like, you've got crazy eyes. You've got hey, oh. ow! <laughs> that's me thumb, mate. You watch yourself around here. Locals are very friendly. <laughs> Now, for a couple of you guys with eagle eyes, you probably noticed by now that I've changed the setup in Sooty quite dramatically at the back here. I've deleted one of the drawers, I've got the fridge slide nice and low, and that weight distribution is actually helping me drive some of these tougher tracks. Now, when it came to the 12 volt system, I've kept the same go block. I reckon this is working absolutely perfect in Sooty. And I just wanted to leave you guys with a bit of a tip for the morning, and that comes down to the charging of your batteries. You see, when you're thinking 12 volt, the first thing you think of is how many batteries you want to run. Now, you should also think about how am I going to charge those batteries, because if you don't have charged batteries, guess what your whole 12 volt system is pretty much useless so in my setup i've got a go block so it's 100 amps of lithium and it's got a 50 amp charger in it so even when this is dead flat i only need two hours worth of driving for the day to get it back to 100 percent now keep in mind if you wanted to run two batteries which a lot of setups do but you only had something like a 20 amp charger well guess what you're going to have a minimum of 10 hours of driving to get that to 100 percent charge so that's not usually possible when you're out there having a good time camping you you know you want to be parked up for a little bit and enjoying it so my big tip really is get the right charger for your 12 volt needs. And if you're gonna have two batteries, you're gonna need a bigger charger. Jesse's lined up a track today that's gonna to put the wind up as he reckons. And this one, I haven't actually done before. We should make for a bit of fun. The boys are in good spirits and they're frothing to get back out on the tracks. Packed up, ready to hit the tracks for another day. It's a cool little track, never actually done this one before. It's called GQ Creek apparently. Look at that. Oh, a steep little entry into it anyway. Got a whole range of vehicles going up GQ Creek today. It's going to be an uh, interesting little drive. I'm quite excited and I think Tony is going to love it. His GQ will eat it up. Be right at home. Now, GQ Creek is a really fun track. It involves a little creek run that points up a pretty steep and rocky climb that just keeps on going. It's going to be a tough challenge to some of these less capable rigs. This goes straight down, does it? Should have really walked this. Going down one little step. 
and then you got a big oh, one. Oh, goodness. Then you got a big one. Then I got a big one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hold it on, man. Oh, gee. The first part of the creek is pretty straightforward. That is quite a spicy drop into the creek, isn't it? And then it's a sharp drop down into the creek where you're met with a few rock steps to navigate on your way out. All the vehicles tackle this one pretty smoothly and we get lined up for the next part where you've got to give it the everything. Until you walk up here and actually see this for yourself and just realise it's all just shale. So there's no like, I'll just crawl it and try and find my way up here. It's either second gear commit or go back home. Yeah, proper little track this one. But you know what, we're going to have a little go. And I think a little go is going to be a big go. It's either going to work really well or it ain't. Lockers are on. On go at this, I reckon. Straight into it. Wow. I probably wouldn't have gone that hard the first time. But, oh, yes. Oh, wrong way! Oh, yeah, that was good. That was a sick that drive! Was good, mate. You just rolled up that! Yeah, I had to go second. <laughs> that was awesome! I was like, oh, it's all or nothing. I've got one go at this. You didn't even spin a wheel. <laughs> I bet you're glad you lowered it. It's working so much better with that so height. The whole vehicle, well, got weight out of it, lowered it. Yeah. It's working at an absolute working treat. Free. Now I've got taken the wrong turn, though. So. <laughs> you got to back back and go left. Well, if you can't half tell, I'm pretty stoked with that drive. Good old soot never lets me down. That is cool! Just he. Um, you just informed me that when Jock tried to drive this, he struggled. Oh, he struggled and he hit his canopy door so hard on a tree that it wouldn't open anymore. Oh, so damage as well. Yeah. Damage as well. Well, as you saw, Jocko, just a little bit, if you rewind back to, um, I'll put the time code here to make yeah. it real easy for you. You'll get to see how we do that hill, mate. Nice and easy. Kind just, of the same as when you beat him at the rock rolling contest, well, I think. You don't yeah. want to listen, we don't have time for all the times I've beat Jocko mm. off road. But Jocko, little heads up, mate. This is not that hard. You just got to control the throttle a bit more, mate. This is. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face when I say that. <laughs> yeah, ready for you, mate. This is GQ Hill after all. You're in a GQ, you know what to do. Yeah, it's pretty steep when you're parked at the bottom of it looking up at it, eh? All right, the second gear, let's go. Well, he's going high on this rock. Oh, no, he's got it. He's got it. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Yeah. Yeah. At speed. <laughs> well, he's just broken the speed record. He's up. He's still going. Look at him go. He's oh, in the tree. He's, he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wild ride. I don't want to admit this, but your drive is actually a lot smoother than that. Really? Yeah. Yours yeah. was like picture perfect. Can we change the name of this to 80 series? Creek? I said at the bottom, I said this is now Sooty Hill. <laughs> just when you start to really pick up momentum, then you get to the rock step and you need to turn left across the hill and you know you're alive. That's good. It's better to be up here than down there, though. Righto, Liam. You possibly might be the first 200 driver to bring a vehicle up GQ Creek. Wow, that's scarily that fast. Oh, my God. That's going to be crazy. Oh, no. Oh, tree. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. Oh. That, just grabbed that tree. That was um. <laughs> woo. He just wow. grabbed the tree. I thought that was going to go really bad and actually went pretty well. It went pretty good. He yeah. just grazed the tree. That was crazy. That was mental. He's got it though. He's got it. And he's done minimal panel damage, so that's a win. <laughs> All right, Justin. Um, I can't wait to see this happen. Neither can I. I don't know what's going to happen. Now you're going to drive this perfectly, mate, or you'll winch nice and safely. One of the two. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's give it a little send. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now, the Defender only has a rear locker and it's a very long vehicle. So, it's going to be a very tough ass to get up in one go. Yeah! yeah. Oh, that's a good drive. That's good. That that's was good. awesome. That's me done. <laughs> that's me done. Front locker and he would have had that. Exactly right. And that's where a front locker really helps because you could see that this wasn't biting at the front, so the rear was doing all the work and it started going sideways. The good news is the back of his car's in the creek. And the yeah. front's halfway up the hill now, so. Well, that was a great effort, and there's one last pinch left to get to the top. However, as it's typical for us, the track's looking a lot more washed out than we thought. Jesse, you said it was easy after that big hill. Now, this is one of the sketchiest things I've ever seen. Yeah, um, well, <laughs> last time we were here, it was shadily ruts the whole way up. A bit of rain's come through, just washed the topsoil mm. off a little bit. Good news is the rocks are probably more grippy than the shale, well, if you can get to them. That's what I mean, like we struggled. When I say struggle, just walking up yeah. here. We were on all we're fours, on all fours yeah. just climbing up here. It's so shaley. The thing is, you're going to be 
into it, like second gear, revving out to the max. Yeah. And then you gotta to get to these massive rock steps. So you wanna like slow it down, but not too much. Good, good luck. Thanks, good I'm luck. gonna need it. That's all I've got for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna need it. All right, Sooty, you've got this. Well, he's got speed around the corner too. He's not hanging around. Oh, oh, he's into it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what'd you stop for? You had it. Go on first. You had that. He wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, maybe it's not worth it. No harm in chucking a winch on, I think. Sideways on a hill like this is no fun. Let me give you the hot tip. But you gotta try these things. Have a little go. Well, that's a valiant effort and I reckon I'll take it. I've gotta be honest with you, the Runva has really earned its keep on this trip. Very good, Jesse. <laughs> Mate, I promise that wasn't a stitch up. That has changed so much since last time I was here, but. It's, it's, you know what? If I had my time to drive this hill again, I probably wouldn't have backed off when I did. Yeah. Because as soon as you lose your momentum, it's all done and dusted. Yeah. The D-Max and the Hilux, both being IFSs with less clearance on smaller tyres, have opted to jump on the winch before it gets too crazy. And I reckon that's a good call. Come on, Liam. Liam and Justin have given it a red-hot go and have also gotten into a good position to winch. That'll do. That's a good effort. Which leaves only one vehicle. Will this hill defeat us, or can Tony's GQ conquer GQ Creek? Now, they call this GQ Creek, not 80 Series Creek, mate, so you've got no excuses. I'm going to give it a red hot go, mate. <laughs> Good, I like to hear that. You, I know you will as well. I, I think he's going to make it, because I've never seen that vehicle stop before, so... Eight and a half I'm going for. Eight and a half? Yeah. All right, look at him. Mate, he needs to be faster than that. Yeah, he's got, he needs another gear, I reckon. So he got further. Yeah, I'd hate to break it to you, mate. So it got way further. Tell him to back down and have a real go. You got All right. <laughs> well, let's fight him up. Come on, Tony. Go, stay on it, stay oh, on it. Yes, stay on it. Yeah, copy. I reckon, Tony, honestly, if you get another gear at the bottom, go right back where it flattens out and get off in second. That was second. Yeah, that was second. Tell me. Oh, there you go then. It feels like it's so close. It's so close. Yeah, I reckon second gear, rev it and step off the clutch like a diving board. That's all you can really do in this situation. From here? Yeah. Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Get there! Go, go, go! Oh, what a track! Oh my goodness! <laughs> and that is why it's called GQ Creek. The only car in the convoy to drive it. Wow! If I did that with my vehicle, I think I would have broken me everything. That was very impressive to watch. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty, uh, pretty wild in the cabin. Was There's it? There's a lot going on. But it was like the whole, wow. everything was sort of bouncing and like talking up and it would just crawl and get to the next step and get to the next bit. And then you'd almost like roll it and then you'd manage to steer back onto it. It was you pretty cool what? to that see. That car just feels like it wants to go up, up hills. You and know? look That's like why it. I stay into it because it just wants to go. Yeah, very cool to see, mate. Awesome. Thanks, Jess. I love your spotting. Yeah, just uh, stall it up in second and clutch dump it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have been to the glass house many, many times, as you know. Mm. I've never seen this track. I want to thank you for bringing us here, mate. I think everyone had a pretty wild time. Yeah, definitely. The track's done, right? It's done, yep, yep. Well, you're wrong. There's one more track to go. Okay, what yeah. are we doing now? 80 series track or something? 80 series track, exactly right. If you follow me, I'll, I've take, heard it. It. I've never I'll been. take you to one of the best tracks in South East Queensland. Okay, follow sounds me. good, let's follow do me, it. Follow me, boys. <laughs> The glassy never disappoints, and I reckon it's going to be hard to wipe the smile off everyone's faces. But a good old fashioned win on the glass house is never complete without a trip to the day. So we're going to do exactly that. I reckon the boys have definitely earned a nice coldie after the last few days we've had.
I told you boys, we had one last track, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of my favourite tracks. It's a, it's a Dag Hotel, and cheers for cheers. such a rip up of Good a trip. weekend, boys. Fellas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't spill them, don't spill them. Uh. Gotta say though, after just freshly getting back from the States and driving some of the most iconic tracks in the world, there is nothing more refreshing than coming down to the Glasshouse mm. local backyard tracks. And it goes to show you don't need to travel around the world to have some of the best four wheel driving ever, yeah, mate. Definitely. So, boys, been a river trip. I reckon we dig our heels in, maybe throw the anchor out, and uh, we'll see you next time on Four Wheel Drive 24 7. Next time on Four Wheel Drive 24 7, we're back on Fraser Island. How utterly wild is this? Fraser Island. Absolutely stunning. You can camp there, there's beautiful dunes, you can sit up, watch the sunset on. I'm gonna tell you what, mate, the tail of fishing offshore there, top notch. Hold on to your hats, it's gonna be loose. There you go, he's on. Get it on. Get it on. Yes. It's absolute chaos here at Nagala today. There's been vehicle after vehicle bombed. Pretty much all the recovery here in Fraser Island, I think there's about seven snap traps in a row. Probably one of the tougher challenges on Fraser Island. Why'd you do that for? The whole casting of the spindle is snapped in half and the tire has fallen out. Has anyone got any hose clamps? I've never seen that before.